Well, first of all, the loss of Ngaseri is um, a huge loss to the nation and a huge loss to the Maasai people. It's actually very painful to many people and it is a shock because Ngaiseri has never been known to be sickly. In fact, he likes bragging about, you know, how he jokes at his age. Yesterday I saw him in the service with His Excellency. And there was nothing to indicate that the following day that we would not have that man. So, so really for me, just right now, I just want to tell everybody, all the Kenyan people and especially the Maasai people, who would be feeling particularly shaken following consecutive and successive loss of very key leaders, Fasol and Dimama, and then we say John Keane. And in fact, during John Keane's funeral in December, I sat next with Tungaiseri and we shared together a meal and he was as jovial as usual. So really, the only thing I can say is that you can say whatever you want, but Nkaiseri was a very great man. He was a great man. He was a jovial man. He was a man who was substantial. And he, he was very passionate. He did things that he wanted to do with all his might. And, and, and it, he, he was one of the Kenyan people that you can stand on. I mean, you can, you, you can call on and you can count on. So it is a great nation to the security of the nation. It's a great loss to, uh, to, to the leadership of this country. And we, I just want to pray that may God mercy in his vengeance. May God remember mercy on this nation, particularly now as we go for elections. That I just want to ask all of us that if nothing else, let this be the time to bring all of us together, regardless of your political divide or interest, that we all come together as we mourn this great son of the Maasai people of this nation so that we can move on as a country. Because it will take a long time for a lot of people to, be, to, go, to come to terms with this loss. But we we'll, we we'll leave all of this to God. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Kepi, as a former presidential candidate, uh, I think you fully understand the docket that it was. And uh, as we first approach uh, the eighth elections, in terms of securing the elections and ensuring that uh, there is peace in the country, uh, I'm imagining it's also a huge loss to that regard and the good work that he was doing. Gaisari took over the security docket when there was a very serious security problem in the nation. And I think we all recall how he came in and brought a lot of order and a lot of sense of confidence in that docket. I do know that the, the president, of course, will find other capable Kenyans who will continue serving in that docket. But the most important thing is that many of us, if most of us loved Ngaiseri, across the political divide, Ngaiseri was first a member of ODI and then eventually he, he was taken over to government as a cabinet secretary. So really, I think all leaders must call for peace. All of us, the citizens themselves must call for peace. And we also call for credible elections. So the security apparatus